Today we are going to discuss vasopressin or antidiuretic hormone is a vasoconstrictor agent. Basically we are discussing the humoral control of blood flow by the tissues and we have discussed that humoral control is basically by substances or hormones which are secreted or absorbed into the body fluids and they are basically classified as vasoconstrictor agents and vasodilator agents. We have already discussed norepinephrine, epinephrine and angiotensin 2 as vasoconstrictor agents and their functions in um, blood flow control. Now today we are going to discuss the vasopressin uh, in relation to the humoral control of blood flow. Vasopressin or antidiuretic hormone or ADH has a lot of functions but today we are going to specifically discuss its, its functions regarding the blood flow, the humoral control of blood flow by the tissues as how the tissues, uh, the need, the requirement of the tissues increase or decrease the uh, amount of or concentration of the ADH and how the ADH then increase or decrease the blood flow to the tissues. So basically vasopressin or antidiuretic hormone, it is more powerful vasoconstrictor agent than angiotensin 2. We have discussed that angiotensin 2 is a very powerful vasoconstrictor agent and one millionth of a gram of angiotensin 2 can increase the blood pressure or mean arterial pressure by up to 60 mm of mercury. But vasopressin is more powerful than angiotensin 2 and it can increase the BP more than angiotensin 2. Now this angiotensin 2 it is formed in the hypothalamus. It is more powerful as a vasoconstrictor agent and it can increase mean arterial pressure. And it is basically uh, formed in the hypothalamus in the human brain. And if it's formed in the hypothalamus and from the hypothalamus it comes into the posterior pituitary gland. This is anterior pituitary, this is posterior pituitary, this is hypothalamus of the in the brain. Suppose for example this is the brain. Here it's formed in the hypothalamus, it comes to the posterior pituitary and from the posterior pituitary gland it goes into the blood and from the in the blood normally its concentration is negligible but its concentration in the blood increase after hemorrhage. Its concentration in the blood increase after hemorrhage because it is a vasoconstrictor, it constricts the blood vessels and it helps in the mean increasing the mean arterial pressure so it's secreted after its concentration increases in the blood after hemorrhage so that there it can compensate for the blood loss due to blood loss the bp is decreasing so vasopressin is secreted from the posterior pituitary basically formed in the hypothalamus and from there it is coming into the posterior pituitary it goes into the blood causes vasoconstriction and increase the mean arterial pressure hence it it tries to compensate the, uh, the the effects of hemorrhage. Sometimes it causes so much vasoconstriction that it can normalize the blood pressure of the mean arterial pressure. It can normalize. Now, it is it is also known as antidiuretic hormone. So it basically increase it increases the water reabsorption from the kidneys. When water is going into the kidney, basically these are the kidneys, blood comes here and it get filtered in the kidneys and the waste material get absorbed and it formed the urine. Water in this urine is reabsorbed, it is water in the urine is reabsorbed or the, the filtered material in the kidney from that filter material the water is reabsorbed with the help of ADH and that water is returned into the blood. So antidiuretic hormone, it is antidiuretic. Diuresis basically means urine formation of urine. So it is antidiuretic, it is against the formation of urine, it decreases the urine formation. And it's because hemorrhage is going on or there is uh, water loss or fluid loss or if there is dehydration and a lot of fluid is going out of the human body through other passages so it tries to compensate that fluid loss by increasing the reabsorption from the kidneys so that it can somehow 
lift the mean arterial pressure and bring back the pressure blood pressure to the normal level so vasopressin or anti diuretic hormone it has a lot of functions but uh, regarding the humoral control of blood flow it is a powerful vaso uh, vasoconstrictor and it is more powerful than angiotensin 2 in uh, it is basically formed in the hypothalamus from where it is uh, it goes into the posterior pituitary and from the posterior pituitary it goes into the blood according to the demand if there is loss of fluid if there is decrease in mean arterial pressure if there is dehydration when its concentration increases it basically causes vasoconstriction and it increases the mean arterial pressure through vasoconstriction as well as it causes the reabsorption of water from the kidneys blood coming into the kidneys get filtered and the filtered water in this kidney is reabsorbed back with the help of adh into the blood so that the fluid stays into the uh, human body and fluid should not go out of the body and mean arterial pressure should remain the remain normal so that's all about the vasopressin and its contribution in the control of blood flow and uh, all it all these functions they are basically trying to normalize the blood flow to the tissues and the tissues they they send signals to the brain uh, for secretion of this adh so in a, in a in a way these tissues are trying to maintain their blood flow with the help of these agents and vasopressin is one of those very important agents in the next lecture we are going to discuss endothelin a Thanks a lot for watching the video.